The practical guide um, to law and protest was Green Law's first major project. It started in November of 2019 and it involved eight dedicated law students, two dedicated academics and a plethora of other academics providing insights and input and advice throughout the process. And it really is intended to be a practical walkthrough from planning a protest, participating in a protest, and the consequences of if you're arrested after a protest, what that looks like and ensuring that your rights are upheld throughout that entire journey. It definitely evolves. We were trying to cram everything we were finding out about um, protester rights and what a protester would need to know before they um, participated in a non-violent direct action. And we realised this needs to be comprehensive, so we went from a two-page summary sheet to a 105-page report. <laughs> The, the practical guide is the first of its kind in the ACT. We don't have something like this um, until now. Um, and it's also a framework for other jurisdictions and other student groups that want to do similar things in jurisdictions in Australia that don't have these resources. Up until now, um, most major police accountability projects have been undertaken by senior lawyers um, and legal advocates. And this project shows that with, you know, the, with the support of academics um, and with enough dedication that students can also be contributing to the very important work of, of police accountability and ensuring the right to peaceful association is upheld in Australia. Some of our students were in their first year when it started, um, some of our students were in their fourth year and so there was a mix of abilities but the passion the passion was there the whole time. Um, we also had um, inputs from Anthony Hopkins and Helena Gligorovich, um, and both of them contributed enormously to the expertise that was needed for these guides to be finished. As the director of the Law Reform and Social Justice Program, I tell our students that social justice in Australia must always begin with and must always keep front and centre the imperative of of Indigenous justice. You know, we've had people tonight speak about um, First Nations justice, um, justice for the queer, the queer community um, and disabled people as well and I think that knowing that this guide can be helpful for all of those issues and not just environmental reform is so wonderful to know and it's really great to hear people like um, Shane Rattenbury speak about how useful this guide would have been for him in his Greenpeace days and to know that I guess we can help some people to um, feel empowered to participate in democracy and to hold institutions accountable.